are not prepared. Okay, what do you want to do here? Uh, I would have uh, kept uh, the Iron Deep and the Guardian and uh, perhaps the Ramming Mount. Exactly, that would be the keeps here against the Priest. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Oh, it's Shadow Priest. Uh, that's actually... I remember correctly, not amazing. Yeah, it's one of your worst matchups, but not with yeah. a hand like this. What do you think we do? Uh, I would have played this one and then uh, buffed it with this one. Yep, that would be the play. Let's do it. So far, so good. Try to keep it alive until uh -huh. I can give it ramming mount. Hmm. Or this. Doggy biscuit. All day, every day. Doggy biscuit, and we trade this because we get a pretty good favorable trade. Hopefully, he doesn't have another leper like that. But even if he does, we are gonna slap a ramming mount. Okay, perfect. Victim. Perfection. Go ramming mount. Always. And we trade that as well. Against Shadow Priest, it's a fight for the board until we can start uh, connecting face. In this matchup, Shrem Crescent would be lovely, especially after ramming mount, because all of the trades are become, gonna be immune for you right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's true. I never mm -hmm. thought of it that way. Yeah, that's, that's the main reason why ramming mount is so good. And that is why I'm so... Weirded out by some people. Oh fucking hell. Okay. Okay. Situation went real shitty real fast. Yeah. Mm, what do you think is the play? I would have tried... Uh... I, it's it's tough because I could use quick shot to get rid of the four four, but I can't clear the board. So no, you will you will never be able to clear the board. So we definitely have to do some damage control. Yeah, quick shot goes into the four four and two three finishes it off, and we try to swarm the board with the rest of our hands. Yeah, just drop. So we off. play the bun bunny yeah, and then the another. Mm -hmm. Right now, he still can't really clear the board himself, so we are denying him from playing spells. Not that they do play many of those, but goddamn you lucky bastard. That's freaking 5 damage right there. Okay, it doesn't hero power, which was weird. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Do you see the play? Uh... Do I do this and get the buff for the bunnies? Exactly. We got them buffed on the board, which is very important right now. Okay, I want you to figure out the entire turn before you start executing it. What do you think we are doing this turn? Um, do some damage control for the big guys. And... Um, getting a strong board presence with the uh, with the uh, additional bunny. Generally, yes, but we're not gonna be killing the big guys. We want the small guys out of the board. But since we also are gonna be hitting face ones, that is what we're doing first with the free two. So free two goes face. One of the bunnies goes face, basically. The other two trade the one twos, and you play a Wolper Tinger. The way we did it is we went face first to get the benefit from his uh, voice touched, but we also controlled the board without actually losing any minions on the board. Yeah, these uh, big minions are kind of scary, but they're big minions that only can trade uh, one of ours each. So if we trade two of ours and, do and those, that's actually not benefiting us. We're kind of helping him. Okay. 
they're they're as scared as uh, as we are right now. Like they also need to control this board somehow. Okay, finally plays a spell. Alrighty, and what is the play? Um, I can get a new ramming mount from this one if I get lucky. But I mean, uh, it's not gonna be too lucky right now. It's a free mana spell. We can't really play it. I mean, it's always gonna be the Barracoto Bane for sure here, and hopefully we got a good demon companion. That'd be pretty neat. Okay, we do get the demon companion. Let's see what's in there. Acceptable. The free one trades the five free. That's happening for sure. But what else is happening? Should we be acknowledging this free five at this point, or can we just go face with the rest? Yeah, free one always trades the five free. That's guaranteed. I would have been tempted to go face now with the well, rest. The rest is face. I think so as well. We do have some good damage, he shouldn't be able to clear all of them, so Doggy Biscuit is gonna start doing some good stuff. The cool thing about Doggy Biscuit is it, it could have given Rush the Koto Bane, but the stupid thing about it is it's actually not guaranteed on a minion that can't attack, so it would have been a 25% chance to tradable that Biscuit to get Rush on the free 5 but even if we got it, it wouldn't have been that great of a play. Okay, that wasn't very optimal, but this actually is. This is pretty good now. Now we're gonna control the entire board and we're gonna take it from there. So, we're definitely yeah. equipping Train Crescent. We are we are playing the uh, entire hand, so it seems. So, Intrepid on the board. Play Intrepid, one man Intrepid. You kill the free two with your aimed shot. And we give the biscuit to the. Hmm. If we give it to the free two, he's just gonna kill it. I mean, if we don't give it to the free two. Give the doggy biscuit to the free two so we guarantee it survives for a turn. Your face kills the 2 1. Your face kills the 2 1, please. And now you wasted a lot of. Damage oh, there sorry. And a lot of health. We gotta be a lot more careful with these turns. Like they're, these are simple turns right now, and it was an obvious way of uh, doing things as well. Like why would you ever uh, sacrifice two health on your Koto Bane when you could just clear a two-one with your face? Like he's nowhere near face racing us or anything. Yeah. Okay. Um, I kind of uh, need to do this to get another card, or you kind of do. Uh, but uh, let's use Stream Crescent on the one two. Your face on the one two. This and yes. this. Koto Bane is gonna take the damage that way. Yes. Now go quick shot to his face. Oh. Okay. Give the adorable to the Koto Bane so it doesn't die to a hero power. Play the cat, hero power, everything face. Did you pay attention to the order in which our minions are on the board right now? Yeah, greatest to least, least greatest. So, big, smaller, smallest. I guess. But uh, yeah, it's basically testing if you're paying attention to that. Or at least can you backtrack your mind uh, in order to know how the trades are going to happen. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely trading with Koto Bane there was a very weird play on your part. I'm not sure you would have done it if you were alone. It was an obvious uh, damage you were taking <laughs> with the phase there. Just so we can... We were going phase that turn. Like, we didn't care about the 1-1, one but the way you did it... Uh, it made no sense at that point, because it was one damage for one damage. Okay, well, so uh, definitely try to concentrate and f think about the things I'm telling you, because you did something pretty counter counterintuitive there. There was absolutely no reason for us to be making the trade the way you did it. Do you have any questions before the next game? Yeah, it's it's a good point because most matches I win, I I have thirty health left. 
Exactly, your health is a resource. That is something you should yeah. be very, very comfortable with using. You're the aggressor. You're not. I mean, this game it was 50 50, but yeah. uh, usually you're the aggressor, and the more you use your health as a resource, the better you're going to be at uh, finishing off the opponent. Because it doesn't matter if you win the game at one health or at 35. Like, as long as you win yeah. the game, that's the whole point. You're not getting I... extra ranks. <laughs> Uh, I would uh, keep the Guardian because it's the only playable card. Mm, Guardian is not something you want to be keeping without something to play it on. It is an okay keep when you're going second. You can use it offensively to ping down yeah, something oh, one health yeah, on the I'm, opponent. I'm going first, yeah. But uh, when you're going second, you can also coin out a one drop plus that. But right now, as a standalone uh, minion, Guardian does not make enough sense. If you already had a good one drop, sure, but right now we don't have, so it's a full dump. Okay, much better. So play the Intrepid and hope he can't kill it or play I mean, the true and curse. If he kills it, what you gonna do? You, yeah. do? you do play it. No reason not to. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like a burn shaman. Nice. He's overloaded so, for next turn, so we got that going for us. What's the play? Uh, bunny and adorable. Yeah, I like that. I usually uh, buff the left most. Give it to the left one just because you have Trim Crescent right now, so you are gonna know that the first minion that follows is gonna be the big one. Yeah. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Let's see. Pretty lucky curve for this guy so far. What you wanna do? Uh, try to slow him down with the cult and the cat. Yeah, it should be a good play. On turn three, he could be going for a serpent shire portal. Not on our watch. <coughs> oh. Mm-hmm. And likely Warsong the next turn. Yeah, he will shield the, the right cultist. Right now he cannot freeze because of the way yeah. he played. Okay. Alrighty, what do you think the play is? Uh, now I would rethink my strategy and use the ramming mount to buff. Okay, what else are we gonna do? Uh, so if I buff... If I buff this one, I can clear that and go face with that. We also that. have Shrimp Crescent though, so we can make the trade for free. So it would be preferable here to give Ramming Mount to the first minion we played, which was the Cult Neophyte. Okay, so true aim, Give the Ramming, Ramming Mount. to the 3-2. Just to be safe, go face with the minions first would be a good idea. And after that, use your true aim into the 3-2 to kill it immunely. Mm-hmm. There we go. Just to show you that it works both ways. Doesn't matter if the minion attacked already or didn't. It will yeah. be able to again. Okay. It sort of reminds of that 8-8 eight, eight for Demon Hunters I used to play uh, last mm -hmm. fall. Yeah, it's basically the same concept. You're still gonna be able to attack with a Frozen one too. I mean, oh, it's still gonna follow with the Trim Crescent. Yeah, it's exactly the same with the... Iladari. Okay. Well, do it. Your face into the free too. Mm -hmm. And now the question is, uh, what are we gonna pull from this Warsong Wrangler? Um, it, I'm not sure what he will follow up. With if I if I'm better served with having many small minions or if I want the big guys, it's definitely uh, questionable what we should be picking here. But just because I I'm pretty sure this guy's running the Snowfall Guardian, it's not going to be very beneficial for us to go wide on the board. So I'd rather still pick the Rhino. 
even though we're gonna be floating the mana. And I, and I put it... Uh... It doesn't matter where you put it, so yeah, for okay. true aim at least. Yeah, pick the rhino, rhino. and go face with the 1-1. One, one. Right now you gotta still pay attention because the rhino is not gonna be doing the fancy shit like it used to in the last game because it's gonna be the last minion you've played. Yeah. Well, we top deck the second Rhino, so we're not gonna be able to buff it more. Right now it's gonna be very important for you not to show him the second Rhino, but if we're gonna be using the Rhino, it should be the left one, because he knew we drew the Rhino from the Warsong Wrangler last turn. The way we're gonna be doing it this turn, how is it going to be? They are a burn deck, so uh, we should be a little bit scared for our health total. But uh, also, we are also a burn deck, so uh, we want to. Is it land the, a the, bit the middle damage. card he knows that I have? Yeah, he knows about the left one. Yeah. Just like you know, his third card right now is a second landslide. Or at least should know. Uh, so, trampling Rhino into the 2 3. And your face into the four free. Mm -hmm. Ram still kills it, and we're still left with a couple of minions. He is not. He's still gonna be able to play landslide here, so that is why Rhino is somewhat protected the way we played. Okay, he is gonna freeze the Rhino, but that doesn't matter for our Rhino boy, at least for the follow-up attack. Oh, he didn't use the thing. Okay. Wasn't that... Uh... Oh, for fuck's no, sake, he... this stupid Wolpertinger. Okay, what do you think we do here? This has... No, this doesn't have the RAM. So... Nope. It will go down to one. Well, I mean, it's it's still worth doing it. It's still gonna land five damage to his face. So yeah, your face goes into the free free. We are hero powering for sure. The real question is, do we really want to be playing the Warsong Wrangler? I think you. So fucked up right now. Like, how could we possibly top deck all beasts and war songs at the same hand? Literally, in your first 10 cards, that's what we got. Play the war song wrangler and just hero pair, that's all. Hungry, aren't ya? Hero pair. Mm -hmm. And leave the bunny. Mm -hmm. That is all. You don't want to go wide on the board, giving him a bigger Snowfall Guardian right now. Second landslide. Okay. What does that do? Nothing. Okay. I'm getting close, but not super close. Yeah, it's gonna be a trampling rhino into the zero two. Hero power is happening. Yeah. Hero power is happening. What else do we do? Hmm. Um. At this stage, I think I would play the bunny and hope for the best. I think the intrepid makes a little bit more sense instead of the bunny right now. He doesn't have okay. a way to kill it on the board, he has to figure out a way to deal with the Rhino as well. And it's also a little bit uh, safer against the Snowfall Guardian. That's all. Magic. Draws a shit ton of cards, but can he deal with it? Not yet. GG. A piercing shot would be good now. <laughs> win. GG. <laughs> Oop. 
Okay, we managed. That was a close one. Definitely felt a little bit weird top decking all of our beasts and war songs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you want? To I do would here? keep the iron deep. Yeah, and that's and only that. keep here. The rest are bait. And just hope for a cookie or something. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. And the cult neophyte is also pretty good. Yeah. Okay, two biscuits better than one. Hopefully he doesn't have a, he doesn't decide to remove it. Yeah. Rip it. If he has a touch of Naf regime right now, that wouldn't be too hot. He's probably not gonna play the quest just to remove. Oh my god, doesn't even play the quest. Okay, you filthy casual. Doggy okay, then I doggy biscuit. Mm -hmm. These people, dude, these people. Good luck, bro. So if he, he has the 4 damage, he can't remove it? Mm, I mean, there is a 6 damage card as well, which is the scary one. Wow, good job, bro. You're getting there. Doggy biscuit number 2. And face is the place in this case. We see nothing but a face thing. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Right now it's a little bit questionable what we do. Um, um I I I might have been tempted to uh, not buff this guy too much because he might remove it uh, well, and play the remove it though. What no, is the removal maybe. you're playing around? You should be knowing what you're seven, playing seven. Right, against right now, right? I'm not sure. They do have the 5 damage AoE on turn 4. They do have a full-blown evil, which deals 5 damage for free mana. Right now, I think the safe play would be ramming mount into and, the 5-5 uh, and the five, five, the... you trade, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. There we go. That is all. The little Iron Deep Trog that could. Not even playing his quest. What a freaking legend. I wonder what he's uh, looking for. Mm -hmm. The card. Maybe the the Rush Gnoll. The 5-4 with Rush. Yeah. That would somewhat help him, but I'm not sure at this point it would help him too much. Imagine being this scared out of a fucking 1-2 splitting up. He should have played his quest like a normal human being, but he's too good for that. Okay, what do you think the play is? Uh, um, I don't know if it's, it's better to get the Divine Shield for this and uh, play the cult neophyte really fucking up and maybe the demon companion and hope it's a rush go face i mean i would still prefer just fitting in a hero power in here just because we are kind of running low on cards so yeah. why should we hope for it to be the charge minion when we can just do two damage the old-fashioned way so guardian yeah. on the seven seven cult neophyte to really prevent him from doing anything meaningful and hero power, a boot. Mm -hmm. And he is absolutely fucked now. Well played all day, every day. You win this one. Is he looking for a way out? <laughs> there is no way out. The only way out is on the bottom right section. Good luck with that, brother. Build a board. Harder, daddy. Mm -hmm. Easy. We had lethal. Rifle hero power was exact. Okay, two more to go. Let's go. Knowing what you're playing around against the opponents is half the battle won. You should uh, actively try to learn the other decks and what they can be doing. And if you can't do that, it's still no problem. You can still... 
uh, if you're tryharding, you can still just open up HS Replay and see the most popular deck you are thinking you are playing against. Yeah. That is gonna definitely help you know how to play around certain stuff, because yeah. if you don't play around stuff, you're always gonna play into stuff, which is... I, I don't have the card, so I can't build the deck and exactly, try it but myself. That, that's not an excuse not to know what the deck looks like. You still have to know your opponent to beat your opponent. The only play I see here is keep the bunny and, and lose the rest. What's wrong with ramming mount still? Yeah, but it would take me very, very long time to get it, but well, maybe how, I... How is that very long time? Like, worst case scenario, we slap two damage on turn two, and still, the Wolpertinger should be sticking around, unless he goes with a perpetual flame. We're just dropping Barracoto Bane. Ramming mount is definitely worth the keep when you have almost guaranteed targets you know like yeah these should be no. sticking around oh baby let's do that thing shrug it up if he lightning bolts it so be it he could be quest uh shaman he did keep the far left card is something you could be paying attention to but he also kept his entire hand so you gotta know he's gonna have some removal here quest he does i think he's gonna perpetual flame next turn i have a healing Hmm. Do do we do we save this and just ping them? Yeah, I think that would be the play because I really expect a perpetual flame out of him. Yeah, I will yeah. Uh, hero power and face. Hero power face, yeah, that's all. <laughs> if he has perpetual just for two minions, we call that a win every day. Okay, is he gonna coin the perpetual? Not very smart of him to get overloaded for that much. Unless he has Lightning Bloom. The problem is if he has Lightning Bloom, he is completing the quest. It, it wouldn't have been a problem if he had Lightning Bloom, because right now he's literally overloaded for minus 5 mana. So next turn, even if he blooms, he's still gonna be minus 3 mana. But, uh... Uh, bun bunny and a Biscuit. Or do I... Bunny and a Biscuit is the better play here. It plays around a second possible Perpetual Flame or just a single target removal. Uh, free damage spell, they have plenty of those. Yeah, I have a feeling his far left card is a Lightning Bloom. Or not. Alrighty, what do you think we do? I don't... If I use Ramming Mount, uh, I get this up to... Five, five, six, but he. Why would we use Ramming Mount right now when we have Doggy Biscuit? Ramming Mount is cool and all, but Doggy Biscuit is literally one extra, and you should be using it on the right one, and also give Adorable on one of them as well, so we have a different health total, so he cannot just plus one spell power perpetual. This way, he needs plus two spell power or another way of dealing the extra damage. I would have. Yes. Do I save the extra cat or play I think it? you played a cat. I think we should be trying to push as much as we can now after one perpetual has been shown. I would have still preferred the buff on the left one uh, just because it's the first one that attacks. But, I mean, it's uh, kind of 50-50. What would be better there? We don't even have a true aim crescent, so it's not that big a deal. It's just something you need to be thinking about when deciding where the buff goes. Yeah. Please kill the cat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Had to bounce like that. Hmm. How do you want to go here? Mm, I would say try to start working in the hero power to get, get him down, but I could... But that will not be even. Buff the cat with the adorable and then hero what power. What card are you expecting from him after he has four mana? I don't know. The 6 4 lifesteal rush minion. Okay, that is going to I... be a pretty bad target for us, so uh, that is why we're not going to be using Ramming Mount, because when the when you have Immune, you don't give him lifesteal that way. I do believe yeah. you just aim shot his face, hero power, and go face with the cat. 
save the other stuff for later. We are low on steam anyway. And if he has the life steal, it would be pretty rough. Spell power with a second perpetual would be kind of lame as well. Okay, drops down that. Has another perpetual, as one does. Okay, overloads a lot, but he probably has the overdraft. Okay, that's gonna give us the finisher we desperately need soon. Yeah, we definitely go for a war song right now. And we slap in a hero power right now. Okay. And hero, hero power. power. Mm -hmm. The only life steal, the only health gain they have is uh, through those six fours. Okay. Wouldn't be very great if he has it though. Okay, overdraft like one does. Don't get lucky. Not a good taunt. Nice. Oh, thank you for giving us a better target. If that was a 1 1, that would have literally been lethal. No, it would have been 1 off. Um, we can't use the ramming mount because we're one short, but uh, do we buff him with the uh, adorable to getting up to eight, eight, seven? You know what the really good play would be here? No. Hero power pass. How is he gonna gain health if we don't give him a body on the board for him to rush into? He can't. Just hero power pass and next turn you got lethal. Even if he gets the two free, we still have enough mana to do everything we need. That takes some nerves. <laughs> oh, for sure. Okay, right now he can discover the free mana heal for four, but that's not that big a deal. GG. Got him good. Found Revolve? Nope. Jeez to the Jesuses. Just the hero power with the Rhino is enough, but you could flex on him with the Adorable as well if you want. Rhino, hero power, and Adorable for maximum damage. And you attack into the 0 too. Easy. That could have gone wrong. It could have gone wrong, but that was still the correct play. Like, playing around RNG bullshit is definitely not better than playing around the actual cards you know these people run in their deck. Yeah. Okay, final boss. One shot, one kill. Let's go. Warlock again. Let's see if this guy is as brilliant as the last one. Ouch, that's not <laughs> what you want to see. Mm. Cult Neophyte is a little bit tempting, but with a hand like this, we might regret. Hmm. I, If it was only me, I would have kept the cult and, and hoped for a one drop uh, just to, to use this to slow him down, but uh, I don't know if it's the right play. Uh, keep the Cult Neophyte, I think. And just hope for the best. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck would Warsong Rambler be such a good card keep there? <sighs> fuck. Well, hard pass. Job done. Oh, it's a rogue. Okay. That's... Not amazingly amazing, but Rogue is not what it used to be. Wow, coins are tradable. Interesting. Horrible top deck, but you still caught in your fight here. You prevent him from... Well, nothing anymore, because he did coin. But still, caught in your fight is fine. Next turn we might even give it a ramming mount. Okay... Top deck the ramming mount, make him feel unlucky. That's not how top deck works. Doesn't matter. Top deck means play the card you just drew. Oh, okay. 
does didn't matter too much, but it's a little trick you could be using to tilt your opponent. Okay, that's mildly annoying. He's hard running the frickin' owl. Shocking. Shocking, I say. Uh, I would perhaps play the Intrepid and then another Ramming Mount and take out the 2-1. I don't know if, I don't know if it's a good Acceptable, sure. I, I kind of like it. Piercing Shot was also a simple solution there as well. It's as good as a target. Don't really like just using Piercing Shot like that, but this, this play is not bad at all. Should be having a Gnoll playable by now, but it's not as uh, huge as it used to be. It's a 3 6 now. 3 5 actually. Well, see Entropid. Wow, both of those. Pretty lucky, huh? Good news is they don't have health gain, bad news is neither do we, and they're kinda pushing. They're pushing us. Fuck. Shrine Crescent one time. Oh my fucking god, you lucky bastard. Hmm. What do you want to do here? I guess we have to remove one of the three guys. Mm -hmm. Maybe with an aimed shot and save the Rhino and hope to buff it later. It really feels like we're going to have to control the board a little with the same shot, doesn't it? Yeah, let's same shot the free free and hero power his face. Not a race we can start from now. Right now, he does not have any different class card in hand, so he can't double up his agent at least, unless he has activation for it. I haven't seen an Iron Beak Owl for Neither have I. a very long time. Neither have I. I Neither played the horse on it. when it first came out, and then the oh, Owls shit. was he all the raid. He has activation for the double agent. He's gonna play it probably. Or not. Okay, that's acceptable. He's acceptable. Okay, what do you want to do? I could play the Rhino and buff it and take out the 3-2. Right now, you gotta get lucky with this Rhino top decking Train Crescent soon. Right now, Rhino is gonna be a very mediocre play. The better play would be yeah. the Piercing Shot, the 3-2 and just Hero Power. We are sticking a good amount of damage that way and we are removing damage as well. And we're still holding back with the Rhino so we can actually do a really good play and not just an okay play with it. Yeah. If you get Shrimp uh, Crescent off the top, you're gonna be able to slap twice with it, and it's gonna have six damage with Adorable Infestation, too. That's all. Yeah. Right now, we are behind, not gonna lie. It is looking pretty sus, but we still have some acceptable top decks, and he's not very fast either. Okay. Come on, true aim. Fuck. True aim fucker. We gotta try and fight for the board a little. So do we... Do we play the demon to see if we get a rush first? Uh, or play the rhino directly? I think we play Rhino, Adorable Infestation, and Demon Companion. 
Generally, the proper play is to see the random part first, which is the demon companion. But, uh, still. Okay, kill the 1-1, one, one, just so we can maximize on damage. Okay. And we're still one-off lethal, even if you top deck your last aim shot, which is sad. Fuck. Which card is he looking for? A way to deal with the Rhino for free. Okay. Or possibly some lethal outs. He doesn't have lethal outs potentially here, but he can still... He could even get 8 armor if he is lucky enough. But, it, well, there's that free removal I talked about. Fuck. That sets, sets us up, almost. There's the fucking true aim. Thanks a lot, game. Well... We're not really removing any damage with the hand we're having. Just drop everything, equip Trim, hero power and face with the Trim as well. And that gives us a few potential lethal outs, but we are in very big danger. He can have Mr. Smite, he can have his second wicked stab, or he can have scabs and go face with the weapon as well, don't forget. Definitely suboptimal curve for us. This Trim Crescent should have came one turn earlier and this game would have been ours already. Even if he doesn't have the lethal, we still gotta get lucky out the top. Quick shot, same shot, Kodo Bane, Rhino. And after that, Demon Companion has to be charged in that case. Doggy Biscuit for a different card, acceptable-ish, but obviously not great. Okay, well, doesn't look optimal. Should have gone tradable there. He might already have lethal and he's BMing, but let's see. Nope, he's just a fucking moron. Come on, game, punish him. Both Warsong Wranglers are acceptable as well. There you go. GG, easy legend. One shot, one kill. No luck, all skill. Easy. There you go. As easy as that. Oh, well, congrats, man. <laughs> Thanks. That was in the nick of time. The, the, the ah, time I was still just... gonna give you at least two more games. I wouldn't just uh, leave you at the final boss like that. But uh, yeah, fucking happy we actually made it work exactly on time. Everything is great as it should I don't have think I have ever seen a legend number this big. 21,543. <laughs> I didn't think it went 21, that high. 21,000. Well, it's the last day of the season. There are plenty <laughs> of bigger numbers than that, but legend is legend. Yeah. Uh, awesome. what I, one of the big uh, lessons learned is to try to get better value for my rhinos because i have been trading them quite a lot um rhino and by, by... utility is very essential in this day and age you have to get all of the damage you can every literally every time you can like uh sometimes like in this case you did see that we chose the different play uh, this not the rhino play on that rogue on turn six uh, which gave us a better possibility to top deck True Aim Crescent. Sadly, we top decked it a turn too late, yeah. uh, and we couldn't really use it because we were forced to use that Rhino, because if we didn't, we would have been dead. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, we. I mean, in that particular situation, the Rhino play was suboptimal every time. Like, uh, you just had Piercing Shot, which was doing the exact same thing, but you also were able to fit in a hero power. So, but yeah, when you can, you want to be holding back with the Rhino. If you have an acceptable different play, as long as it doesn't put you too far behind, as long as it doesn't uh, change your game plan dramatically, 
it was definitely gonna be good uh, if you didn't have another way of dealing with that particular board to drop the Rhino, but since we had an actual better play, it was gonna be the choice all day, every day. Uh, definitely work on being comfortable with using your health as a resource. You are a hunter after all, you are fine getting low on health. It is, your health is the resource, like... If yeah. you can get uh, a favorable trade for your minions to stick for longer, that is definitely going to be more important for you. Yeah. So be okay with using your face uh, to make favorable trades with the Trim Crescent so you can actually go face with the minions instead of just using them the old-fashioned way. Yeah. And another thing, uh, since you're not very familiar with the common meta decks, I would definitely advise you when you're trying hard uh, to have a separate uh, window open with HS Replay and just open the meta, open the meta tab and every time you queue into a class, just click the first class that is uh, that has the most win rate. That's uh, free resources for you. You can, you can view the most popular deck for free. You can, I think you can view the meta for free as well, I don't know. But it's a great way for you to just, to just have the most common a uh, version of that deck in front of you so you know what you should be commonly playing around like for warlock that is essential uh for the shaman quest shaman that was essential for you to know you're playing around the perpetual flames we did he actually had and we still made it a little bit awkward for him to pull off like yeah. that shaman was very lucky like he had all the removal in the world and we still got the win easily yeah the warlock uh, could have had a lot better removal but he was a fucking idiot with the like not playing his quest on turn one because of a fucking truck like what is this so yeah man keep on keep on playing and if you need another session i am ready for whatever uh i will probably be using this uh game footage for a video soon so say hi to youtube <laughs> but uh okay. yeah hi youtube yeah um well that's that's about it hope uh hope you enjoyed the sesh hope you uh, yeah, it was great. New. Thank you very much. Awesome, man. Enjoy that legend. Feel free to spam some games. You can't drop out of legend now. Like, once you reach legend, you are legend for the rest of the season. And enjoy bronze 10 in <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a few okay. hours. Thanks. Yeah. All right, Have a man. great night. You too, Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.